What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another true tutorial. Today we'll be doing a low fade with no C cups. And before starting, I am going to comb out my client's hair just to make sure everything is detangled. We don't want anything curled up. So I'm going to just comb this out as much as I can before starting. So usually when it comes to wave cuts, I like to trim the top down first. And I'll be using the one and a half guard with the lever halfway open. And I'm just going to follow his wave pattern and going with the grain. Usually I would use a number one guard with the lever open, but he does want his hair to be a little bit thick on the top. So this is why we're using the half guard with the lever halfway open. And I'm just going to go all the way through following his wave pattern. When you're trimming down the top, try to keep the clipper flat to his head and just following all the way through. You don't want to be lifting it halfway because then it's going to be cut inconsistently. As I stated at the beginning of the video, I will not be keeping the C cups. So this is why I'm setting in my ball line this way, but I'm still dropping it in the back. So you see my ball line is not really curved. It's just going straight down and dipping it down below the occipital bone. I'm just going to take my time and clean this up real good. You don't want to rush this part because we're going to be basing off every single guideline from this single line. So try to make this as neat as possible. And we're gonna match the same exact thing on the other side, but for the sake of this video, I won't be showing that part. Right away, I'm gonna grab my foil shavers and I'm gonna bring this down to the skin. This is going to help the fade last longer and give a better transition to our blend. The first card we'll be using for the blend is the one and a half card, and I'm going in with the lever all the way closed. And I am going up about two fingers high. All I'm doing is just following that line consistently through. After that, I'll open the lever halfway and go up another quarter inch from that first line we created. And finally, I'll open the lever all the way and just flick out the remaining of that line, the very top. Since we did cut down the top with the one and a half guard, this will blend in seamlessly. If you can't keep track of my lever position, just look at the top right corner. I'm letting you guys know right there. I'm just going to repeat those same steps that we just did in the back. I do like to work in sections of three. I'll perform the entire steps with that guard on my left side, then my back, and then the right. This way I won't lose track of the height that I'm cutting in in that area. So after performing those steps all the way around his head, I'll be taking that guard off and going in with the lever all the way open. And I'm going to go up about a finger's width or literally half of that first line we created. And I'm going to try to cut this as consistent as possible. You do want to brush down the hair as you do this with this texture and keep cutting it and brushing it so everything is being cut evenly. After doing that, I'll put on my 0.5 guard. And I'm starting with the lever all the way closed. I'll be performing that same three step lever technique, starting with the lever all the way closed, going up a quarter inch. Then I'll open that lever halfway and go up another quarter inch. Once you get to the lever halfway, this should be pretty blended. All we're going to do with the lever all the way open is touch up the area above that and really just get any dark areas that you see. If you feel that the fade is not coming out consistently, it's okay to go back and restart the steps from close, mid and open. Just try to keep a visual in your head of how high you went with every guard. That way you won't go above that and create another line that you're gonna have to fix on later on. And something I do to avoid that is just keep it in mind that the higher I'm going, the more I'm flicking out and the less pressure I'm applying. After completing those steps, I'm gonna open the lever all the way and go with the grain above that area. This is just gonna smooth out the blend and cut any hairs that were lifted during this process. To blend out that last bottom line, I will be switching on my clipper to a fade blade and a slower motor so we can get closer to the skin and be more careful about it. But I'm still using the same lever technique I'm just flicking out that bottom line with the lever all the way closed. I'll open the lever halfway and flick out a little higher. And you will already see this blend coming together. There's going to be a lot of lever play involved with this last step just to detail and touch up all those little darker areas. So that's what this technique is all about is flicking out and just detailing. If you learn to master this technique, you don't got to mess with four or five guards for one simple fade. All you really need is two. So remember, the higher we're going, the more I'm opening that lever. I don't know if you noticed, but I do use my corners a lot. This method just helps me target the smaller, darker areas more accurately. And 
whatever my clipper doesn't get, I'll go right behind it with my trimmer since this cuts closer to the skin. I'll really be able to break that line apart that we use with the foil shaver and the no guard. Now I'm just going to repeat those steps all the way through. As soon as I'm done with the left side, I'll finish the back and then I'll finish the right side. This way I can stay organized with my lines and my work. Before moving over to the hairline, I am going to be putting some mousse in his hair. And I'm just running this through with my hands first before brushing it. That way it's all spread around evenly. Any type of foam mousse works really. But what I'm using here is coconut shea moisture. This is going to allow his hair to lay down and make his waves pop. Be sure to focus on his front hairline because we don't want any hairs lifted in that area. And I'm just going to brush this in evenly. Be sure to follow his wave pattern. And just to cure everything and dry his hair in place, I will be using a do-rag assisted with a blow dryer at high heat. Just be sure to not have the blow dryer too close to his scalp and potentially burn your client. Now that everything is dry and set in place, I will be starting this hairline. I'm trying to keep this as natural as possible, not going too high. We're keeping that same shape, just sharpening it up. A good little trick to make sure your client's hair is straight is just laying your client back. This angle is really going to help you see if it's straight or not. And we are getting to the end of this video, guys. I really hope you were able to learn something. And if you did, please leave me a like and a comment. If you end up trying this technique, let me know how it went for you. And if this helped you out, be sure to share it with a coworker, a barber friend, or anybody. Also, if you guys need any gamma tools or stylecraft tools, be sure to use my discount code CHOOCH and you can save some money with that as well. And this is the final look, y'all. This took me about 30 minutes to complete. I know you guys can do that too. It's just gonna take some practice and patience. Be sure to subscribe for future content because I'm gonna be uploading a lot more tutorials. Also, be sure to check out all my other social media accounts. I'm pretty active on those. That's it for me, guys. Peace out.